Steve Hodges, uh, 56, and I hail from Santa Barbara. Okay, uh, Steve, tell us a little bit about your boat. Um, it's uh, make, age, length, and why you chose it for uh, doing your single-handed sailing. Well, she's an Islander 36. She turned 40 this year. I've had her for about half that life. Um, she was a family cruiser when I bought her. My kids are uh, grown up and gone. Um, so I decrucified her as much as I could for the 2012 race, and then uh, that progress has continued. Um, so here I am for the 2014. Um, why did I choose her? Because I had her. I handle her, you know, I know her inside and out. Okay. And how long have you been sailing? Uh, I, gosh, I saved up my paper route money. I was 12, bought a eight foot dinghy, sailed on the Chesapeake and Great Lakes. Uh -huh. Okay, and uh, how long have you had the single-handed transpac on your uh, radar? I think um, sometime in the summer of 2011. I was I was slated to uh, do the Long Beach transpac a couple of years before that, and the boat dropped out. And uh, so I started single-handing this boat. The kids again were gone, and uh, so started getting serious in the summer of 2011. And I didn't have this particular boat, uh, race in mind until I went to one of the seminars, Oakland Yacht Club. I think it was December 2011. Uh -huh. And uh, Rob Tryon, the race director, asked the audience, anyone thinking about doing the race? And I, to my surprise, and shocking my wife, stood up and said, raise my hand. Kind of like bat baptism. Yeah, and six months later I was in the bay and did the race, 2012, and I really liked it. Okay. And uh, what other events have you uh, sailed in um, to prepare you for this race? Well, I sailed single-handed the boat back from Hawaii mm -hmm. uh, last summer. I had some breakdowns in the 2012 or some weaknesses, so I decided to stay, sailed over to Oahu, Kauai, and uh, did a lot of improvements um, and upgrades, and then sailed back alone last summer. Um, other than that, I regularly crew. I do four-deck on a J105 in Santa Barbara called Escapade. Okay. Uh, I've had the good fortune to sail on with Jim Quancy on Green Buffalo several okay. times. Um, and then I've been sailing in the bay. I came here last uh, August. I got in the bay. So I've learned a little bit about sailing in here, although I've probably worked on the boat more than I've sailed. Okay. And what is, the, what is it specifically that you uh, enjoy about single-handed racing? Uh, well, I love being on the ocean. And uh, single-handed distracted by anything. I mean, everything that grabs your attention needs it. Um, you know, during the race in 2012, I didn't bring us read a single book or listen to any music. But not by choice, I just was busy with the boat. My favorite TV station is watching the ocean and the air, the sky. So, I guess that's why I do it. I like, I like it. Okay. Have you done any special mods to the boat since you've had it to make it uh, more uh, user-friendly in the single-handed capacity? Well, I, I spent a, yes, I spent a lot make it easier to handle. I run the lines the way I like it. Um, so I've got one halyard, spin halyard going back to the cockpit for shoots without a sock and uh, one of the mask for my couple of shoots with a sock. I put a removable inner four stay on so I have an ink on sale for heavier conditions. And if I just need a, I can drop it in the cockpit. Um, so yeah, redoing the running rig and uh, rerunning a lot of the running lines in general. Okay. And if you had any boat in the world you wanted for <laughs> this race, what would it be? Oh gosh. I think I'd have to say an Olsen 30 or an Olsen 34. I've also had my uh, eyes on the Beneteau first, a 30 footer, or the Figaro, which is a Beneteau. Okay. Those look really nice, though I've never sailed them. Uh, but the Olsen 34, uh, like Red Sky, uh, that looks like a good boat. Yeah. Looks like a really solid boat. Yeah. Brian Boschman did a great job in it. 2012. Yeah. And your goals for this race? My goals for this race are to uh, do well in my class, not break too many things. You know. I'd like to do well and get there safe and sound and have fun. Okay. And any plans after the race? Are you going to stay in Hawaii? Are you going to sail it back? If I don't break anything, I'm going to turn around and come back uh, this summer. I'll be back by the fall. If I break something, I'll stay in a willy willy or go to. Oahu, Koalina. Uh, my plans are to come back. All right.
right, well, thank you very much and uh, good luck. Thank you.